One time, I was behind the register at Victoria's Secret. This customer walks in and immediately everybody spots her as a red flag. She's just picking up items, throwing them in her bag, not looking at sizes, not looking at colors. So everybody's like, mm. everyone's on their walkie like. Watch this customer. She's coming to the fitting room. She's headed to the cash shop. Somebody get her. Check her ID. Get her. Get her. She has a bag full of stuff. And guess who gets her at the register? Me. So she comes to my register and she dumps out her stuff. And you know, we're having a regular conversation. Hi, how are you? Yada, yada, yada. Her total comes up to probably between $700 to $900. It was expensive. My manager is at the register next to me, talking to me on the walkie. Ashley, make sure you get that ID. Don't matter what she's using, make sure you get that ID. So I ask her for the ID because she's paying credit. Why do you need to ask for my ID? Just take it. Run it. I'm like, no, ma'am. I'm sorry. I need your ID for the purchase. She starts to raise her voice at me. One day, my cousin made a Tinder. And we were having a family barbecue, so he came over. He was like, oh my god, Sam, like this really hot girl just like matched with me. And then he shows me. And then I see the profile, and it's literally pictures of Madison Beer. But the name on the profile was, like, Kalani. I was like, bro, I don't know who you think you're fucking texting, but it's not Madison Beer. You're, pro you're texting someone's fucking auntie right now. Whole ass auntie. He's like, guess we're about to find out. I was like, <laughs> no. What the f No. He's like, yeah, I just gave her the Addy. She's about to pull up. Like, we're going to meet. Like, it's all cool, Sam. Like, trust me. Trust me. Trust me, he said. Okay. I trusted him. So I see a car pull up, and he's like, oh, my God, I think it's her. I was like, oh shit, what if I do meet Madison Beer? Um, the door freaking opens. And this old lady pops up. I look at my cousin and I'm like, go! Go hug her! Go, go, go! You were so excited! It's Kalani! The one and only! Come on! about how I catfished my boyfriend. I'd been dating my boyfriend Ben for around a year. We were really happy and he even moved in with me in my apartment. Everything was going great and I thought he could be the one. However, one day my friend Lacey sent me a screenshot of my boyfriend on a dating app. At first, I was hoping that maybe it was an old account. I didn't want to jump to conclusions if it was from before we started dating. The pictures that he had on the account didn't seem to be recent ones. I wanted to ask him about it and I almost did, but I had to be sure that he wasn't trying to play me. I called my friend Lacey and told her to super like him on the app. She's really pretty and they've never met, so I knew that he would match with her if he was still active on the app. After a few days, nothing happened. He hadn't matched or messaged her. I was so relieved that I even bought him a new jersey I knew he'd been wanting. I felt dumb even questioning his loyalty until I got an update from Lacey a few days later. He had matched with her on the dating app and messaged her. I was so mad I was seeing red. I was so close to going into the next room and going off on him, but I decided that I wanted to get back at him in a different way. I called Lacey and explained to her that I wanted to set him up and ask for her login information on the app, which she gave me. This is when things got interesting. My ex's girlfriend fucked with me for today. She's on her way. She didn't tell me she needed a soak off. She said he hates when she bites her nails. Yeah, I know. She booked for a 40 set and got these. Um. Texting him now to send money OMG.